What up, Pimp the Up Squad? It's me, John Quiz, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Listen, if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in. And also, hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And leave a comment so I know that y'all here so I can say what's good. I'm craving it, so it's here. So listen, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to say our prayers and we're going to get into this food. Okay, y'all, listen, we got some spicy two pounds of crawfish, and we also have some mussels. We got some corn on the cob, and we have some sauce over here on the side, just for, you know, to dip my mussels in. We also got Junior in the back. Hey, we got Junior in the back. He got us some pink lemonade, you guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, yes. Okay, y'all. Oh, that boy is huge. They are already starting off big, boy. All right, listen, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to eat this the right way. Okay? So, they say that's where all the flavor is. But y'all know I like my claws, so these claws are coming off. These claws are coming off. Happy Monday, you guys. I wish that I could say happy Monday on better terms, but y'all know. Y'all already know. I do want to talk about that a little bit later on, but right now, let me get into this crawfish real quick. Let me get into this crawfish real quick. I, I'm not going to put it up to the screen to share because I know it might freak some of y'all out. And some of y'all just want to be here for the conversation. So that's what we're going to do. But let me eat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, listen, I said I was going to eat this the best way I know how. <laughs> I know how. As long as it gets to where it's supposed to go, right? I know y'all probably like, I ain't trying to hear that. Eat it right. I promise y'all, it's going to get eight. I get them to you. Mm-hmm. I really, oh, this is spicy. I really, enjoy these claws. I really do. Look at that. That joke is humongous. Humongous. Mm. And there's flavor everywhere. Really, really, really good. Oh, yeah. I guess I share a muscle. Get you some. Get you some. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> It's been so long. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Or whatever you prefer. It got that just right, nice amount of kick. Oh my goodness, that spicy kick. That I need. Uh, I'm gonna dump it a little bit here. Cause this dump is still good. It's still good. On corn. <clears throat> Y'all got a tear coming down my eye. It was so good. I got a tear. Ooh. Now nah, that's because some of that spice got up in my throat. Got all up in my throat trying to tell me. These jokers are huge today. What is going on? What is going on? Mm. Baby, that spice is everything. It's really not that bad, y'all. <clears throat> not that I've been practicing off camera, because to be honest with y'all, the only time that I eat crawfish is on camera. That's the only time. Because I feel like if I'm going to eat it, it got to be worth my while. Huh. You know? Y'all have so much that I was supposed to do today, I just could not get to it. Time just keeps... Time is not my friend. It's really not. I was supposed to be in Indiana with my family. Right now. Celebrating my niece's birthday. But I'm here recording. Because I planned on recording earlier so I could get it out the way. Out. And go out there and be with them. It didn't work out like that. Um. First of all, I had a very long night last night, and or well, the night before because y'all be getting this video. Monday, but mm. I had a very long night, <clears throat> and I didn't get to sleep until probably like a good four o'clock in the morning. So, with that being said. I didn't wake up today until mm, meaty. I didn't wake up today until um it was late on in the afternoon. But you know how you got to really, sometimes with me, I know at least I have to sometimes sit there and gather my thoughts <laughs> before I can decide on what I'm going to do next. So after I'm sitting on YouTube for a minute, <clears throat> scrolling and 
catching up on videos and then I get on Instagram and do a little promotion and all that stuff and replying to messages and whatnot. Before you know it, two hours then went by. <clears throat> mm. So I'm like, I have to record because I haven't been, I haven't had a video out since last, I don't know. <laughs> I just know it's been a few days. So, oh God. Y'all are going to murder me in the comments. But what are you doing to them crawfish? If you're a crawfish connoisseur, I know y'all probably just like cringing right now. It's alright, it's alright, I'm eating it, it's alright. It's all good. I'm the one that's eating it. It ain't gonna hurt you none. But, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway. <sighs> um, Y'all, I just can't, because sometimes, like, you know, I be seeing certain people, like, Suck it right out the tail of the shell, but uh-uh. There's some things now I gotta I gotta oversee before I just put it in my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's in private life and professional. You feel me? Not that you gotta be mindful, okay? You gotta be mindful of the things you put in your mouth. <clears throat> Yeah, so, yeah, and, and also another thing, y'all, I might be a little right now, <laughs> because my nerves, my nerves are shot. This whole coronavirus thing got me a little twisted, you know, got me a little nervous, just a little bit. And not even necessarily for me, but just, you know, for the country, man. People have lost their lives so unexpectedly, just, you know. Dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous thing. I know a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people that are out there got their own assumptions on what's going on and <clears throat> what's, what exactly is the cause and who is affecting all this stuff. Hmm. Baby, let's be clear. If I don't hear it come from the CDC, <laughs> I ain't trying to hear it. I need to hear it come from them. Mm. Mm Actually, that's amazing. But anyway, <clears throat> my nerves are bad, so I've been stoned like crazy, crazy. <laughs> Doctor said that's out of the norm for me because I'm always. But right now, it's like there's so much happening all at once. There's so much being thrown at us all at once, y'all. Man. And then I'm like, 
my, you know, I've just been trying to make sure that my people are good. <laughs> you know, my, my grandparents, my grandmothers, well, you know, my, my grandmother, my, my grandfather is no longer living, so it's like my grandmother's alone. Even though, you know, all of her sons and all that stuff is around, they're very attentive. It's just that I know my grandmother. She's a free spirited, very much so. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. She has the same kind of energy. She gives the same kind of energy that I give, y'all. So, this is why I'm so connected and in tune with my grandmother. Because <laughs> she gives the same, and I already know what's going through her head. You know, she does not want to sit still. Hey, baby, girl, <laughs> you need to chill out for a minute. Stop stop being so active. Sit down, sit down for a quick second. Let us figure this thing out. Man, you can't show her nothing. You can't show her a thing, okay? Not a thing. And it's just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too much because, you know, with social media and politics and things that have to do with the government and things of that nature, you know, it's very, it's very touchy to speak on, on such, you know, platforms as this. But I just pray that. I just pray that it slows down. I want it to stop taking lives. <laughs> I want innocent people to stop being affected by a lot of dumb mess that's going on behind the scenes that people think they they really think they were stupid. But we know better. <clears throat> but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> but, um... I just pray, you know, I just want things to get back into order. I want things to get back into order. <clears throat> but the, I tell you the reason why my nerves are bad. My nerves are bad because one, the amount of unpreparedness that we have over this country facing this, man. Baby, when the head of the, the country is just so confused and, uh, you know, is in distraught as the, the country. You think that we ain't got nothing to be nervous about? These people can't get enough tests to even test people to see if they have it. Like what in the entire... <laughs> oh gosh, like really? They don't even have enough tests to, to, to test people. Now I did hear, you know, earlier that they they said that they were um, they said well it was a possibility that they would have over like a hundred million or something like that test shipped in. Mm -hmm. And then now they got to the point where somehow some people may not even know that they have it. I thought the symptoms. I thought the symptoms hit the people right off the bat. Because at first it was like, oh gosh. Then it was. Mm -mm. Then it was to take up to four to how many days to find out if you, if you, you know, you have the symptoms for the symptoms to show. I take that back. It, it, then it was like, it takes four to something days for the symptoms to show. Now they're saying that people are walking around and may not even know that they have it. It's evolving like that. Because at one point it was only targeted in a certain, you know, a select group of people. Not saying that that's any better because it's definitely not, you know. 
then all of a sudden it started affecting more than it just that, you know, that demographic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's this is so all over the place. It's so all over the place. I don't know what to do. I just know that I've been praying for y'all. I've been praying for America. <laughs> I've been praying that the president of this country gets his mind right. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's crazy out here, y'all. And this is this is supposed to be making America great again. <laughs> but I digress. Well, let me shut up and eat my crawfish. I wish I had some more of that corn. Mm. That corn was sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Sweet, sweet. Sweet a little dee da dee da. Listen, I ain't got the time. Just come on, put out of there. Come on up out of there, cause I have to get that vein. That's the reason why I pull mine apart and don't just suck them. I can tell like that. I have, cause I know that that vein is in there. I have to get that vein out. Mm. I have to get that vein out. <clears throat> Now I know the night is going to be right now. Mm. Hmm. That was almost like a chitlin'. And that's another thing I like that y'all might not like, but I never do it on camera, you know. I love chitlins. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not concerned about y'all judging me because my family do it to me every Thanksgiving. Every holiday that consists of chitlins. Everybody want to give me the side eye because they already know. Jacquez wants them stinking old chitlins. Yes, he does. And I get them. I get them, baby. Woo. I'm gonna eat some more, a couple of more of these, and then I'm getting up at this joint. I'm getting up at this joint. But yeah, you guys, <clears throat> what was that? Um, you know, I just want y'all to be safe out there. I really, really, really do. I want y'all to, like I said, you know, be mindful. of your surroundings. They say you have to be cautious of everybody that's coughing and sneezing and all that hot chewing and whatever, you know? They say you gotta be mindful of everybody. Everybody is suspect. Everybody is suspect, so. Pay attention to all the health codes. I think we all, you know, know what those are at this point. At least they gave us that, you know. Even though those are things that we should have been doing in the first place. As far as washing our hands and when we touching public things like, you know, shopping carts and doors and things like that. I personally carry around hand sanitizer with me, you know. I've always been like a germaphobe, so there's not too much of a difference for me. It's not too much of a difference, but the thing is, is it's, it's heightening me up. <laughs> it got me on ten ten, like it gets me past my regular germaphobia, you know. Like I'm on ten ten. <laughs> 20.
Yeah. So. Oh, look at that. Man, get you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm about done. I mean, my heart's content. These were really good, though. <clears throat> really, really good. Y'all yeah. don't know how good I feel right now. Ooh, that was so good. So you guys, you know, I don't know. I, I think I just wanted to touch a little bit more on that because I just really want to make sure that everybody is just out there being safe and cautious and all that stuff. You know, the stores out here was just completely just ram ramshack like people were not playing any games they were not playing any games and i don't think i don't think we really even had well my mom said recently that some it was like one person that was tested positive in our um you know in our city or whatever the case is i'm not directly in the city of chicago i'm in the i'm in the suburbs <clears throat> of chicago so that's why i'm saying it's just one person because i'm one of them like yes why more people do that in chicago i'm in the suburban area so yeah but anyway yeah, I just went and we had to stock up on some of everything. Like, I don't know, for a reason, it was like the toilet paper was gone. <laughs> People were really on it about the toilet paper. They were really on it about the toilet paper. But anyway, we stocked up on some of that, um, even though we had to go to multiple stores to find it. But we found it and we stocked up on it. And we got, you know, other things that we need. A lot of Lysol and things like that, even though... If they shut us down, if they tell everybody that you have to, like, stay home for what? They said four weeks maybe, a little bit more than that. You guys, please be prepared. Please be prepared because I don't think anybody's ever. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to ex endure anything like this in all of my 33 years of living. You know, I've never experienced anything like this. And, you know, I just want to make sure that you guys are safe out there. And I just want to be... I want us all to come back after all of this is said and done just to come back in good health and all of those things and you know I just pray on that I pray on that for all of us I pray on that for all of us so I love you guys please stay up please adhere to all your health codes and, and just be safe guys just be safe okay so we have one shout out to give today i want to give a shout out to mary reed from i want to make sure i'm saying this right quantico am i saying that right quantico md is that maryland hi thank you so much for you know watching the video for that amount of time to even know that i give shout out. i appreciate you so much for that if you're not following me on my social media you can follow me on my instagram at underscore fat belly fella underscore also tiktok and facebook at fat belly fella but in the meantime, you know what's about to happen. You know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I will be back. Okay. <laughs> this ain't it. This ain't it. I promise you. I'm not going to let whatever this is that's going on in the world stop us from doing what we came here to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Peace.